Hi everyone, welcome back to Monday Meds. I hope your week is off to a great start. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you all. Yes, it is Monday or what they would say Moon's Day. And yes, happy June. It's the first Monday of June. Happy June to you all. Yes, I know many of you are planning to get married in June. June is known or was known for the wedding month. And we have to say August has topped it off. Yes, August, August. All right, so you have been um, watching, you know, about seeding and seeds and gathering seed, collecting seeds. Um, but one of the things that I want us to focus on this month, it's also, we will continue on the trend of preparing for what's next. Now, June 1, for many of you, especially those of us in the Caribbean, June 1 is dubbed the beginning of the Atlantic hurricane season. And what that means is that we can get a hurricane at any time between June 1 and November 30. And um, as we are talking about preparing for what's next, how prepared are you for a hurricane? That's our focus today. So keep watching. I'm your health educator, Tanisha Lawrence. And yes, this is your Monday Meds. How prepared are you for a hurricane? Are your bottles empty? Your water bottles empty? Do you have water in your house if a hurricane should strike tomorrow? Are you depending on the water in the tap to make sure you have a drink of water? These are some questions that I would propose to you that you ask yourself. Do you have enough water? Do you have enough food? Do you um, Have you taken care of any shingles or any windows or any things that are hanging all around your house that needs to be repaired? Have you t um, taken care of your roof? Is it leaking? Are you, did you get shutters for your windows for those of you in America? Because um, yes, and even in Jamaica, because yes, I have seen a hurricane in New England, in Massachusetts. For many of you, if you remember Sandy, Yes, I saw Hurricane Sandy in America. And at first, when I heard of a hurricane coming to America, it sounded like it was unbelievable because coming from Jamaica, where we've always had hurricanes every year, um, America having a hurricane was, it seemed as though it, it's not the norm. It wasn't the norm. But yes, America can, and you, those of you in North America, Canada and America, you can have, or U.S., you can have a hurricane, and you have to be prepared. So as we talk about prepared, hurricane preparedness, you know, the, the meteorologists, these people who study the weather, they said there are 20, let's put those bottles down, 20, so far, 20 named storms that can develop in a hurricane. And they're saying about 10 of them, about 10 of them will develop into a hurricane and about five may be major. Now you ask, how do they know that? So right? some of the names there are, there's Anna, Bill, Claudette, um, Danny, yes, Danny and Grace. And there's Teresa, the, I'm doing it from memory, Teresa, Nicholas, Sam, yeah, some of these are family members of mine. And um, it's interesting that they have these hurricanes named every year. The point is, they want us to know or to remember these names, not just because they're names of people, but sometimes based on the effects that they bring. And so it is for us to be prepared for this hurricane season. You know, last week while I was in the town, I talked with a lady and I said, are you planting seeds? Like, are you planting food? And I was really surprised at her response. She said to me, whenever rice is short, she will start planting. 
Now, if you are going to wait until there is a shortage, that means you're not able to get a particular thing to be ready or to prepare. That time is drastically late, like too late, too late. And when I said to her, did you know Jamaica does not grow rice? Because she said that's the only thing she eats. I'm like, she said, well, she can get it from the market. And I'm like, the market? <laughs> you cannot depend on the market. And so likewise, you cannot depend so much on the shelter. I know some people will say, well, they can go to a shelter. Well, we are in a pandemic right now. And to have a hurricane on top of a pandemic, it's double trouble. And so it is now is the time. We really should have been prepared before June 1. But now is the time, as we know, many of the hurricanes, they, they, um, by the time they come over into, from the East Coast into our hemisphere um, and develop into our hemisphere, or they develop and come into our hemisphere, it's around July, August. And the peak of it, it's September, also October, but the peak is September. So we do have a few weeks, but don't get complacent and say that, you know, I have some time. Start stocking up because the reality is whether or not a hurricane comes, you need to prepare for what's coming. Yes, a storm is brewing. About hurricane and disaster preparedness, one of the things that I want us to remember, especially those of us here in the Caribbean, in Jamaica and other Caribbean islands, is that once we have lots of rain, with rain and water settling, we need to make sure that water catchment areas, they are clear because mosquito breathing sites is another challenge for, for um, during a hurricane season or during the wet season and so as you see me me um, me scratch yes I'm thinking about those mosquitoes and so yes um, that's another real thing because as we talk about mosquitoes with that comes dengue fever along with other ear um, other mosquito breathing um, diseases and so or illnesses so or viruses so we we definitely need to be prepared we need to clean up around our space we need to clean up around our house and look out for those tires look out for those um, those cans bottles even leaves um, water settling on leaves water settling you know in areas that you may not think of they just need a drop of water as my husband would tell me just a drop of water and the lava, they can breathe, the mosquitoes can breathe in there. And so that's one of the reminders or that's one of the challenge I want to leave with us this week that we will clean up around our space as we prepare for the hurricane or a hurricane or better yet to prepare for hurricane season 2021. Be sure to poke holes in your cans and um, bottles and anything that will hold water, definitely turn them over. Get rid of plastic bottles, plastic and any other catchment area. For tires, you can fill them with dirt and also for bottles, be sure to have the caps on them there is a storm brewing and only God knows the magnitude of this storm that is coming and so we need to be prepared we need to make sure we have enough water we have enough water for the different the, based on the number of people in your family um, at least at least three to seven days supply of water make sure you have food preferably non-perishable don't stock your fridge with food because when the electricity goes the food will go bad so get some canned stuff if you can find dried foods um, that's best um, 
if you can you can definitely I will do a I will do another video next week God willing that we will talk about what you should have in your emergency kit the point of this video or the purpose of this video is for you to start thinking about preparedness disaster preparedness and how important it is for you to be safe and to keep your family safe so make sure you have enough water enough food and that your house where you live is safe as we wrap up today you know there's always a spiritual application yes there's a storm coming are you prepared you know Jesus and his disciples while they were on the sea a storm developed and he said to his disciples he said they woke him up because he was sleeping he was fast asleep he was at peace and he said he woke up and he said peace be still I pray that God will say peace be still in your heart this week I know that there are so many different drama and trauma and tragedy in our world, but may God, may Jesus speak his peace into your heart, into your heart and into your mind and into your whole body this week. I pray you'll have a wonderful week, everyone, and God be with you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe be sure to click the notification bell to get updates on all or new videos keep watching